how's the weather in YouTube land? I got some monotype going, and, um, uh, well, Showdown's actually shutting down. The server's going down for now. So, I'm just gonna do some live PO, and, uh, I'm gonna go for my rocks up here with Metagross. This is my mono psychic type, uh, mono type team. It's pretty good. Um, Starmie is Timid Life Orbed, Banded Victini. You can see this Metagross set. Uh, standard Cosmic Power Sigilith, Sub Combined Gladios, uh, with Roost and Bulk Up Gallade. It can be a problem because I don't have any, um, Scarf Pokemon, but Metagross and Victini both have, um, good priority. So, I'm gonna get out my Cell Talks. He goes for Shadow Ball. It does a lot of damage, and, um, I don't really have any safe switch into it, so I'm just gonna stay in with, and go for Meteor Mash. And, um, it's looking like an easy... Two, three hit KO for Shadow Ball, but I believe Bullet Punch will be able to take it down, and there goes the Porygon Z, and Metagross is doing work in the early game. So he's running Mono Normal, which my team definitely can handle. Um, Explode, I, I used to run an special Explode, but I think these things go physical, if I'm not mistaken. So um, I am think I'm going to switch to Sigilyph. I don't think Explode can really touch Sigilyph. And this guy is just doing random things. He goes for Surf, so yep, special. Um, doing 41%. Doing a lot of damage, actually. Oh, good, I do outspeed. Um, doing Ice Beam. After Roost, that did 44%. This is not good. Did a lot of damage. So, predicting him to go for another one. Um, I am going to go with Starmie here. And that ice beam does absolutely nothing. And um, I believe I can just go for a surf here and take out the S Cloud with Life Orb Surf, and that's looking pretty good. Got a good start going. He's got this Ambi Palm here. Um, that's not a big deal at all. I have Metagross. He's probably just going to go for normal gem boosted fake out. Alright, that's fine. Not a big deal at all. And, um,. He's probably just going to take me out, so I'm just going to get out some last ditch damage bullet punch. As he goes for Brick Break, but it doesn't take me down. Wow, Metagross is a boss. Metagross is a boss. Um, and Palm does is running Shadow Claw, as we can see there. So I'm not sure if Victini, bringing Victini is such a good idea. So, um, I think I'm just, um, I think I'm going to go into Starmie here and just take it down with a Surf. Because I know I outspeed, because Starmie has, uh, higher base speed stat. He goes in a Pori 2 now. And how does Starmie have half HP? It's only done, it's only taking two life orbs. That's, that's strange. That is... That is quite strange. Actually. Oh, there we go. Starmie took damage from Ice Beam. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, um... I'm gonna go into Gallade because Gallade can pretty much handle this thing. You know, for right for the bulk up. And, uh, we're back again. Sorry about that. Um, I do get paralyzed. Not a big deal. I'm just going to go for another bulk up here. But I get paralyzed again. And, um, well, two more charge attacks are going to take me down, which means I need to go for a dream punch. And I do manage to get it off. And, um, yeah, so I pretty much have to keep going for drain punches. But I do get the unfortunate para hacks again. And um, I'm just going to go to Sick Lift. I did a lot of damage. I'm going to roost up, see if that's a high roll. That is a low roll. And I just lived with 12 HP. This Porygon 2 is powerful with plus one special attack. Powerful. Um. 
I'm gonna keep Sigma for later, maybe. So I'm just gonna sack Galley now. Um, I'm just gonna go and abandon Victini, and uh, I should be able to get some big damage off the banded Adamant Banded V Create. Take down that Porygon too. Now he's Buffalant left. Now this thing is a threat. I'm gonna bring in Sigma. He's gonna go for Earthquake and not do a thing to me. And I'm gonna go for Roost. Probably gonna go for Head Charge here. And um, oh, he goes for the Return actually. But that is going to be able to take him down. And to say his thing is obviously not choice scarfed. Wikini will be able to outspeed it. Go for that V Create and take that Buffalon down. So I'm thinking Victini can pretty much take down his last Pokemon. Yep, Blissey. And Victini pulled off uh, some work. Victini taking down three Pokemon. Um, who else did work? Let's see. Um. Metagross did work, taking down one. And Starmie took down two, so that's pretty good right there. So let's get uh let's get another one here. This guy's either mono poison or mono ground, since mono ground is pretty terrible. I'm gonna go with that as mono poison. Which is actually very good. For me at least. And that fire blast does a lot. I thought he'd go for earth power there. But um I guess not. So I'm gonna go to Latios. Latios can pretty much handle Nido King. Unless he runs the Ice Beam, which is definitely a possibility. And if he's running Ice Beam, then Victini should be able to outspeed and take him down. But I do pull the double, I guess, while he goes into Tentacruel. And I do carry the Bolt Strike. So that's just going to take it down. And I'm right, this is a Mono Poison team. Poison's actually an alright defensive, um, defensive type. Not a great offensive type, but there, there are also a lot of Pokemon that have dual type poisons, like with strange types like water, ground, dark. Here, it um, it definitely gives a bit of an advantage there, and um, not quite sure how much I'm liking this gun tank. So I'm gonna go. Okay, he does go for pursuit there. And he's Life Orb. Okay. Surprise Life Orb Pursuit took me out, but alright. I'm gonna go for Substitute here. Not sh quite sure he what he's gonna wanna do. Um, I might be a bit early to start setting up, but okay. I'm on low, low battery. Um, I'm just gonna do this game, and uh, then I think that'll be it for today. And I'm just gonna keep bulking up. He's. His flamethrower is a two hit KO on my small on um on my sub, so I'm just gonna keep and actually clear smog and flamethrower is it's a three hit KO between the two. So that's pretty good. He's that he's forced to go for flamethrower each time, otherwise he won't break my sub in a few hits. So I'm just gonna keep setting up until pretty much plus six and with a sub. Now at plus five, base attack one thousand one. That's just crazy. And this thing doesn't have any investment whatsoever. At all. It's pretty incredible. I have no attack investment in this. Completely special defensive um, HP. And um, I think I have a better defensive speed. So I'm going to go for Drain Punch here. And that does 47%. Oh lord, that did a lot of damage. That did so much. I was hoping it would be it might be a two hit KO though. After two turns of leftovers too. So I could sub down again. But um I am getting back quite a bit of HP. I'm gonna go for one more sub. Flamethrower will not be able to break it. And um He's gonna go to Nitto King here. Alright, that's a good move, that's a good move. I respect that. But I'm going to go for Ice Punch here because I do not think Drain Punch will be able to take down. And Ice Punch is enough to take down the Nidal King. So, Galley's doing work here. Um, I'm going to go for Substitute here. Yep, he's just going to go for Sleep Powder. It's not a big deal. He can Quiver Dance as much as he wants. Um, because I can take hits. I mean, like, look at that. That did absolutely nothing. Oh, I already did Skun Tank. So, okay. That's all. That's all good. I meant to write Reason. Alright, so um, I'm going to go for Substitute, predicting the Sucker Punch. 
but even so, Sucker Punch wouldn't do anything, so cancel, 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 cancel. Cancel! Forgot that I was at plus six defense. Oh, that didn't work. And I got poisoned. Okay. I survived. That's that's not bad. Okay. So he's just gonna sack his wheezing. But it poison will not be enough to take me down because I am at Alright, he's trying to whittle me down right here. That's his only chance. He did get the poison. So I'm gonna go for Dream Punch and his last Pokemon. Oh, Oh, with it aftermath, that's enough. What Skun Tank runs aftermath? I didn't even know Skun Tanks ran that. I'm gonna go to Metagross because Metagross pretty much walls poison. And it's a Toxic Coke, so that's pretty much a good game because I run Earthquake and he does not have that balloon. Dream Punch does nothing, or not enough at least. And Earthquake is gonna be enough to take it down, so that is a good game. Um, so, this that's my. Oh, you monotype team, so let's just check my rank. Oh, yes. 1, 10, 31. I've played 7 battles. I thought I played like 3. Alright, whatever. Alright, so um, if you enjoyed this rendition of some live PO with narration, which is strange, because, you know, last that last video, that was really strange. I do not know what happened there. Um, but... I'm never, I'm probably never going to use Cam Studio again. That was my first time using it. And it was absolutely terrible, as you could see. It did not record my voice, even the microphone was, setting was on. And it completely butchered the video like it did. Which is really strange, but um, I guess that's not a big deal. Um, so now I know for the future. So please like the video comment on the video and subscribe to my channel to see more contact uh excuse me content and um i hope you guys all had are having a great summer i'm having a good summer playing a lot of golf and baseball and such you know fun 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 so yeah how so how is everyone this fine freaking day how are you guys all doing? You guys all good? Alright, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now. Alright, see you all later, YouTube.